Now we're joined to discuss this story further by the founder and director of the Middle East Political Information Network, Eric Mandel. Eric, thank you so much for joining us. Let's get right to it. What do you make of the latest reports coming out on this story? If reports of Israeli involvement, for example, are true, does this bring the shadow war closer to a real clash? So I don't believe there was any coincidence here. I think there are three possibilities. Uh, one, that this was a warning to Iran not to cross some line in the sand of a nuclear threshold. I think it was to instill fear in Iran again. Uh, they've stroked Natanz before um, and to show Iran that it is vulnerable and Israel can reach it. But I think the most likely scenario here is that this was done for to create significant damage uh, to retard the uh, Natanz, um, uh, the acceleration. I think there may have been a window of opportunity as they were installing new IR uh, fives and IR sixes um, in there and injecting them with gas. And so there probably was a, a, a opportunity at this point um, to get into the electrical grid, which brings us to the shadow war or its companion, the war between the wars up north. And this has made it the potential for a regional conflict higher. Um, and I think the uh, risk is escalating. All right, so let's get right to the, the degree of risk here, because ultimately, if it's a, as you're describing, that this really could be uh, a message, it seems to have had implications, If even if it's just the optics of the situation. How severe of an incident, to your assessment, took place in the, times early, in the early morning hours, and how is it affecting the ongoing tensions between Iran and Israel, or even more broadly, Iran and the West? So I'm going to, my assessment is that this was a serious incident because I don't believe Israel would have burned or revealed um, capabilities uh, just for a warning. So I believe that this was an attempt to significantly set back Nataz, um, similar to what may have been done, maybe not quite as much uh, in July of 2020. Um, it's significant also because, and again, I don't believe in coincidences, that this could be sending a message to the United States. Who's in, the United, who's in Israel right now? Uh, Secretary of Defense um, Lloyd Austin happens to be there right at this time. So this could be a message saying we still have to defend ourselves. This is all about the Begin Doctrine, um, which says that we cannot let any enemy state have nuclear weapons. There is another possibility that this was a joint U.S.-Israel uh, uh, cyber attack, um, and that could be because it, it's trying to show uh, Israel that it will not be abandoned to Iran, even if the, a JCPOA or, a, or an, excess, an, an additional agreement happens. Right. Um, I think that's the least common thing at this point. All right, Eric Mandel, thank you so much for giving us that important insight on this ongoing story, which, of course, we will continue to follow.